In order to assign the levels to the drain networks, use the same command as for the other networks. It works differently as you will have to determine a starting point for your water level and specify the slope. Run the command and select the pipe to which to assign the water level. The level is here of 240. The slope is of 1.5. Confirm. Position the water levels marker. Indicate the slope and position the text. Then click on each adjacent pipe either following the flow direction or the opposite direction. Note that when the flow direction is followed, as in our example, the go down mode is on. In order to enter the other pipe's levels, you have to switch to the go up mode. Right click, select go up from, choose the reference pipe and progressively go up the branch. Let's repeat the operation for the other branches. Right click, finish. The levels weren't assigned to this branch as it is connected to the main drain by a vertical conduit which implies that it has its own level. Rerun the command, enter the level here of 290. The slope is also of 1.5. Position the marker, indicate the flow direction, position the text and click on the adjacent pipe. The level's information is now fully completed. You can launch the 3D creation by simply selecting the 2D networks. We are now going to see how to change the water level settings of a 3D network. First change available. The slope value or the water level starting point value can be modified. Run the command, click on the water level text or symbol and enter the new value. Here let's change for a 215 starting point. Click on update. The 3D network must be generated again. Let's delete the old one and generate it again. Other change available. Let's add a branch to this network that has already been transformed into 3D. The water level information must now be completed in order to add the new branch. Rerun the command, click on the water level symbol and here add by going up from this reference pipe. Select the remaining parts and validate. Let's now transform these into 3D. Delete the modified conduit and generate the 3D conduits that were modified or added. Last possible change. A network can be modified by changing the slope of a precise conduit. In order to visualize the applied change, let's give a steep slope to this conduit. Run the command, enter the slope value and change the slope of the conduit. Let's delete the 3D network part and generate it again. We can now launch the 3D Networks Management dialog box in order to merge our 3D networks. 